what's up Virgo welcome to your reading I'm gonna do a 10 card Celtic cross reading for you uh, we're gonna clarify a little bit here and then in the extended I'm going to clarify almost the entire thing if not the entire thing so there will be a link below in the bio of the meal link okay five shuffles for Cap five shuffles for Virgo also happy birthday I'm a Virgo too. <clears throat> Three more shuffles for Virgo, please. Hey Virgo, your overall energy. Nice, I like it. Uh, you may be, be coming off as very charming at this time. People may find you very attractive. You may feel very confident or that's how you're wanting to feel. I feel like you're looking good. I feel like you're looking good, feeling good. You're going out and getting what you want, okay? Um, we have the Four of Swords here and the Four of Cups. So, okay. You're healing from something. You're healing from something. I don't know if there was an ending here or not. I'm not seeing it except for this Ten of Wands here for uh, what's driving you. I don't necessarily, I don't know. Okay, so you're healing right now. You are taking a break or you're just, you're deciding not to give to something that may be a little stressful your challenge here is to reject something to reject something or you need to see the silver lining in a situation in the past there was a lot of love here there was an opportunity at least for a lot of love here whether you took it or not i'm not sure the future passion in the beginning we got two opportunities here we have an opportunity in the past of love and an opportunity here in the future ace of wands this doesn't have to be love but a lot of the times this represents a lot of sexual energy sexual tension a sexual opportunity or just a passion a new beginning a creative creative pursuit uh writing youtube channel i mean it doesn't matter whatever it could be this could be in career your goal here is you're trying to manifest something could be to do with this creative new beginning here you could be trying to manifest something right now i feel like you just generally want peace and I feel like you want to reject anything uh, that is not serving you at this time. But what's driving you is a burden. You may be using um, whatever stress you have as fuel. Just try to make sure that you're not making things worse than they are. You know, uh, as people, as just human beings, we just have a tendency to do that, right? <laughs> Your advice here is the page of wands. All right, so I like that. Um, this is telling you that you need to go ahead and put your energy into that thing that you've been wanting to do. I feel like it may have something to do with this ace of wands here. Um, I feel like you're feeling very creative at this time, or at least you're trying to be. I feel like this is telling you to go ahead and be creative. Be creative, use your creative juices. Um, I feel like that with the, with the, all the wand, wand energy on the table, I feel like... There's a lot of creative energy with you right now and you need to go for it, whatever it is. And you're manifesting this. You're manifesting. This is like alchemy here. Okay. You are manifesting this. We got the queen. We got the, we got the queen of wands here, the page of wands, the ace of wands, the knight of wands, the two of wands. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this has to do with love. External sources. So we got the ace of coins here. There's, there could be an opportunity here that you need to take an opportunity uh, it doesn't matter love career whatever it is um there's an opportunity here there is an opportunity here that i feel you need to take especially with the advice being the page of the page of wands 
feel like you need to go for something, but I feel like you're hoping to go for something, but at the same time, you're afraid to go for something because you don't know how it's going to turn out. We never know how things are going to turn out, Virgo. That's the beauty of life, right? If we knew what day we were going to die, do you think that would make our lives super enjoyable? Probably not. Uh, the most likely outcome here, the two of wands, you've made a decision. You've made a decision and I feel like it's to take on this opportunity. Lots of opportunity, lots of opportunity in the past, yet your challenge is to reject something or to see the silver lining in a situation to possibly appreciate what you have. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify some. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clear the uh, clear. Let's go ahead and clarify the magician, Virgo. Give me one more. All right. Virgo, you have you want to uh, you want to manifest new beginnings. You absolutely do. Um, you want to be happy, don't we all? Right? I mean, but there's something here that has the potential to make you incredibly happy. Okay, but you need to let go of some kind of um, whether it was a breakup or something financially that didn't work out, whatever it is, you gotta, you gotta let go of that. You gotta let go of this feeling embarrassed about something to manifest this. Don't let this hold you back, whatever this is. Could have something to do with this ten of wands here, uh, that's driving you. Let go, let go of that thing. Whatever that thing is, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. You gotta let go of that. Let leave that. Leave that. Leave that. What happened here in the past? What is this Ace of Cups? I want to know if this has anything to do with that. That humiliation, not letting go of something. What is this Ace of Cups doing here? like whatever this was in the past here um this opportunity in love or this new beginning in love i feel like somebody there was deception around this of course it couldn't just be all positive right there is deception around this somebody surprised you with something i don't necessarily think it was anything good i feel like in the past you felt as though you could have built with this person like you could have had it all like white picket fence house golden retriever you know i always say that and whatever this was caused you to go inside and heal there was deceit here there was certainly deceit this could be your driving force this could be what you're not letting go of you need to be in this confident and confident energy of the queen of wands okay but this makes sense here why you're in this where you stand right now while you're in this four of swords healing energy taking a step back you know trying to gain perspective on sit on the situation but you're still working through what i feel like i feel like you're still trying to manifest what you want you're looking for happiness it's just that you gotta let go of whatever happened here in the past here with this person um what is this ten of wands here doing Doing for Virgo, okay. Eight of coins. This could have been a third party situation, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, but I feel like there was deception here, whether that was on your side or their side. Whether that was on your side or their side. Um, felt like there may have been a lie here about something. 
somebody could have lied about their finances or somebody just could have lied about um, trying to take this to the next level. Somebody could have acted as though, whether that's you or them, somebody could have acted as though they wanted more than they actually did. There could have been hidden intentions there. I feel like there could have been hidden intentions. Somebody may have wanted somebody else for their money. I'm not really sure. But the Ten of Wands here, um, I feel like you are working on yourself, yes. But I also feel like you are trying to work on getting this reconciliation with this person. But I don't feel like it's, I don't know if it's from the best place. There could be blocked communication here, okay? Um, that may be why this is not coming to fruition, this this reconciliation with somebody if it's not blocked communication then what's causing you this burden what's driving you here is wanting to come together with this person because you don't feel good enough it's like you're trying to prove something I just told this to Taurus you don't have to prove anything to anybody you don't have to prove anything to anybody if this is your situation, if it's, you know, you're working on trying to come together with this, but you can't because there's blocked communication. Maybe you feel like you can't unblock somebody or maybe this person will not unblock you. I'm not really sure if it's not that, then it's that somebody wants to, somebody got, somebody is like, it's like a thing where, um, somebody rejects you and you feel like you're not good enough, so now to prove that you're good enough, you have to be able to gain this person's attention again. That's not how it works. That's a codependent form of mind, and you need to get out of that if that is what it is. If it's the other situation, then great. If not, I don't, you know. And I mean, the this rejection here is your challenge. This rejection here is your challenge. All right? Uh, so yeah, in this, all right, so, um, sorry, I was looking at something. So Virgo, in this, um, extended, we're going to look at this new opportunity, this new passionate opportunity. Uh, this could be something sexual or otherwise. We're going to look at that. Uh, this is three weeks to a few months from now. We're going to maybe look a little bit at this page of wands, this other new opportunity, this external force, uh, you or somebody else wanting to come towards you. Okay. And, um, with the most likely outcome, this two of wands, you making a decision. Okay. All right, Virgo, see you in the extended. Just click the Vimeo link in the bio.